Adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostim supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmed. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral de Gaulle. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Boralus. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Yes, sir! Proceeding! Can I read you? Identify all the proceeding! Reporting for Jade Off and Crackle. This landed site doesn't have any gas. Guess we'd better start looking for another geyser. Affirmative. Orders received. Affirmative. Ah. Orders received. Affirmative. Standing by. Yes, yes sir. sir. Orders, Captain. Captain, I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intriguing. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth the Yes, Captain. Report for duty. Oh, you right away. Yes, sir. Standing by. Go, oh, go, go. Yes, sir. Destination. Yes, sir. I you. Yes, yes sir. Captain. I'll take care of it. You got it. 
Of course. SCB, good to go, sir. You got it. Right away. I'll take care of it. Right away. Job Orders, Captain. Captain. Can I read you? Destination! I'm here. You got it. Of course. Right away. You got it. Of course. I'll take care of it. Right away. I'm here. Standing by. Yes, sir! Orders, sir! Move it! Standing by. I read you. Standing by. Yes, sir! Proceed. I read you. Good to go. Absolutely. I read you. Good to go. Proceed. Good to go. Good to go. Proceed. Yes, sir. Give me something to shoot. Destination. Absolutely. Standing by. Orders, Captain. Good to go. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Dukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in Dry Dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the Captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. 
Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Operational. Battle cruiser Sir, operational. The silos are secured. We've got four nukes on standby, awaiting your orders. Ghost reporting. I hear that. Never know what hit him. Finally, I'm all over it. Nuclear launch detected. Call the shot. Flagship NORAD 3. Well, now, 
I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Mex, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Healing frequency is open. Take it slow. All calls report. Take it slow. Healing frequency is open. shipyards have been destroyed, and it seems that General Duke has withdrawn his forces from this quadrant. We have impressed most of the remaining Dilarian defense forces into the fleet, and stand ready to move to the next phase of our invasion. We've just received word from our research team that they've uncovered some kind of hidden weapons relay upon the planet Tarsonis. They report that it's called a Psy Disruptor, and that its purpose is somehow connected with the Zerg. Admiral. During the Zerg invasion of these colonies, the Confederacy had manufactured a number of portable machines called Psi Emitters, which had the uncanny ability to lure Zerg to their signals. It was rumored that they had created a specialized emitter that could disrupt the Zerg's communications, but Emperor Mengsk was never able to find it. It appears that this Psi Disruptor is the machine he was looking for. I must humbly suggest to you, Admiral, that the Disruptor be destroyed as quickly as possible. If it should fall into the hands of the Dominion, we could face some very serious problems. Uh, a prudent call, Lieutenant. I am inclined to agree. But, Admiral, this device could ensure our victory over the Zerg. It is foolhardy to discard such an advantage. Surely, Vice Admiral, you don't doubt the tenacity of your own fleet. Your Directorate forces will devastate the Zerg without the need for such a device. Listen here, Lieutenant. I've had just about enough of your... This conversation is over, Alexei. Given the true nature of our mission to enslave the Overmind, we could hardly stand to have Manx control a device of this magnitude. The side disruptor must be destroyed in order to safeguard our mission. Anson, set your course for Tarsonis. Go ahead, HQ. Lieutenant Duran, since you have shown such concern for this device's inherent danger, I charge you with finding the disruptor and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. Yes, sir. I read you. Right away, sir. What do you need? Check the nature of your medical I'm emergency. Just... Captain, our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence was correct. Admiral, if we focus on destroying your all the hives in this attack. area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. I'll take care of it. You got it. Commander. SCB, good to go, sir. How can I do a service? How can I do a service? What do you need? Of course. I'll take care of it. Your forces are under attack. Jacked up, jacked up. Let's yes, go. Captain. Let's move. 
Side disruptor. Shall we plant the explosives on it? Lieutenant Duran, we're here to relieve you. We've come with orders from Admiral Stukov himself to facilitate the disruptor's disassembly. Very well. Take it away. Captain, I'll be returning to the command ship presently.
Captain. Once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the Psy Disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion throne world of Korhal. Alexei, fill the Captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Coral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Coral's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral, is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Mengsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustgrad. If those silos were destroyed, we believe that Mengsk would lose his core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Mengsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Manx will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Manx's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against Augustgrad. Reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Go ahead, Commander. Identify target. Checked up and good to go. Identify target. Go ahead, Commander. SCV good to go, sir. <laughs> SCV good to go, sir. Job's finished. Orders, Captain? SCV good to go, sir. Good to go, sir. Orders received. Reporting in. SCB, good to go, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Affirmative. Orders received. Not enough minerals. Destination! 
Station! Identify target! Add-on complete. Admiral de Gaulle has ordered a final tactical meeting before the siege of Augustgrad commences. I'll patch you through to his war room. Ah, Captain, we've been expecting you. As you may have guessed, we are coordinating our final attack plans. You should know that even though Manx cannot reinforce his numbers, his standing forces are substantial. Manx is an accomplished tactician so you had best be wary of any counterattacks he may attempt. I'm Captain. Remember that although we disabled Mink's nuclear capabilities, he still commands a large number of battle cruisers. We suspect that he will use these ships against us at every turn. Be on your guard, Captain. Show this Emperor what the UED thinks of his rule. Orders, Captain? I read you. I can't build there. 
Battle cruiser operational. SCV good to go, sir. Set the course. Shields up, weapons online. SCV good to go, sir. In the cage. Base is under Drop attack. Series. Base is under attack. Yes, Affirmative. Jacked up and good to go. Reinforcements already in transit. Just sit tight. Go ahead, Tarakon. Calling online. I'm here. Finally. Call the shot. SCV, here to go, sir. Reporting for duty. Identify yourself. In case reporting. SCV, good to go, sir. Finally. Never know what hit him. Forces are under attack. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm here. Add on complete. Can I take your order? Destination? Strap yourself in, boys. Job finished. I can't feel that. I read you. Input coordinates. In transit, HQ. Hang on, we're in for some chop. In transit, HQ. Destination. 
Strap yourselves in, boys. I copy that. Buckle up. In transit, HQ. In the five, 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 five. Hang on, we're in for some chop. In transit, HQ. I copy that. Ghost reporting. Nice. Never know what here. Nuclear launch detected. I'm here. Nuclear missile ready. Finally. Nuclear I'm all over it. Ready. I'm here. Nuclear launch detected. I'm all over it. I'm here. I'm all over it. Captain, I'm tracking the Dominion flagship NORAD-3 in low orbit. Emperor Minsk may be attempting an escape. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Emperor Minsk of the Terran Dominion. I wish to parley with your executive officer at once. So, the elusive Arcturus Minsk at last. I was hoping to speak with you before we finished our business here. I am Admiral Gerard Dugault, and I must commend you, sir. Holding back our advance for as long as you can. You are indeed a worthy opponent. My thanks to you, sir. But you must know that your victory here means little to me. It might have taken me a while, but I did overthrow the Confederacy. I'll overthrow your rule as well. That seems unlikely, sir. Seeing as how you will be publicly executed along with the rest of your ranking officers. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the man who crowns himself emperor speaks to me of daring. You have far outlived your reputation, citizen Mengsk. Captain, prepare to take the emperor into custody. You'll have to postpone those plans, gentlemen. Sir, the rebel command ship Hyperion has just entered our sensor range. It is accompanied by a small Protoss fleet. What? Who are these intruders? Jim Rayner. What the hell are you doing here? I'm pulling your ass out of the fire, Arcturus. So shut up and sit tight. Make no mistake about it. We've got us a serious score to settle. But right now, a mutual acquaintance of ours wants you alive. Prepare your ships for dimensional recall. This is impossible! They're escaping right out from under us! Track them! Track them! We have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Iron. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard, but the Protoss aren't our only problem. 
Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Mengsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Valkyrie prepared. Strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Fugitives Minsk and Raynor escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, 
Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Ayer? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral, but perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. If Stukov is here, he will account for his actions. Admiral, our sensors have detected a fully functional psi disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the Psy Disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you! He's reconstructed the Psy Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in the sector! I can't believe it. Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. Alexei. What have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. On my authority, enter the Psy Disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral appropriately. Of course, Admiral. <laughs> Yes, Captain. We're in. This room's clear. You got it. What do you need? Madak. You got it. On I'm my here. way. I'm on How the job. How can I be of service? Of course. State the nature right of your away. medical emergency. Of course. I'm Where here. Where does it hurt? Checked up and got Did someone it. page me? State the nature of your medical Where's emergency. Stuka? Don't tell those traitors anything, Harry. Wax them, boys. What do you need? Did right someone away. page me? I'll take care Where does of it. it hurt? What do you State need? the nature of your medical I'll emergency. I'll take care of it. On my I'll way. I'll take care of it. Stats. Need medical yes, attention? Captain. You got it. Need medical yes, attention? Captain. Give me some issue. Let's move. Did someone page Access me? code denied. Hey, who's messing with the computers? Oh, give me the damn. Access codes before I blow an aggression inhibitor. I ain't telling you nothing. Ah! Wait, I'll tell you. It's a uh, Farnham. Access code accepted. Thanks. Ah! Yes, Captain. Uh, oops. <laughs> Security cameras activated. Vice Admiral Stukov detected in Sector Eight. I'm here. What Where do does mean? it hurt? Yes, Captain. State the nature of your medical emergency. Hey, boys. We can sure use those Goliaths. Get over there and commandeer them. Intruders! Alert the Goliath pilot! Jacked up and good to go. Go, go, go! Your forces are under attack. Go, go, go! Outstanding. Let's move. Rock and roll. Outstanding. Yes, Captain. I'll take care of it. Right away. I'll take care of it. Of course. How can I be of service? Of course. How can I be of service? Yes, Captain. System functional. I'm here. Yes, Captain. I'm here. I'm here. I'll take care of it. Right away. Got it. What do you need? Of course. What do you need? What do you need? I'll take care of it. What do you need? Systems function up here. Of course. Go ahead, yes, Captain. Go ahead, Got it. Tarkov. Of Go course. Ahead, I'll take care of it. Up here. Yes, Captain. Tarkov. I'll take care of it. Right Go ahead, Tarkov. What do you need? Go ahead, Tarkov. I'm here. I'm here. Systems what functional. do you need? Yes, Go ahead, Captain. 
Yes, Captain. Systems functional. Up here. Yes, Captain. Systems functional. What do you need? What do you need? Systems functional. Yes, Captain. Systems functional. How can I do a service? I'll take care of it. Right away. I'll take care of it. Systems what functional. Do you need? Acknowledged HQ. What do you need? General Vice Admiral Stukov. I am here under orders to terminate your command. Lieutenant Duran. I'm not surprised. We both know exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. Say goodnight, Stukov. To hell with you. Lieutenant Duran, report your situation immediately. Gerard, old friend, you do indeed have a traitor in your midst. But it's not me. Duran, he has been playing us both from the start. He convinced you to destroy this side disruptor, even though it was our best chance at defeating the Zerg. And then on Iron. He allowed the Zerg to overrun us even as we had the fugitives in our grasp. I came here to activate the one hope we have of defeating them. And you killed me for it. <laughs> Duran is your enemy, Gerard. I suspect that he may even be infested as well. Use the disruptor, Gerard. Finish our operation. Let my death have at least some meaning. Now that's it. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Computer, where the hell is Lieutenant Duran? The Lieutenant no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Duran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going, and find that override terminal. Go ahead, Commander. Let's move. Stand in back on my Commander. Security training is activated. Keep it functional. Commander. Calling online. Outer installation walls have been breached. Tracking multiple Zerg signals throughout the side disruptor's interior. What the hell? How did Zerg get in here? Captain, we may have a huge infestation problem. This proves that Duran's working with the Zerg. Captain, don't let a single Zerg stand in your way. We need this disruptor now more than ever. Let's move. Outstanding, on, Commander. Your forces Let's are move. under attack. Outstanding. Rock and roll. Go ahead, Captain. Captain Red. Jacked up and good Still to go. functional. Jacked oh. up and good to go. System functional. Jacked up and good to go. System functional. Outstanding. Rock and roll. Standing by. Commander. <laughs> Check that out. They're trapped. Damn. Jacked up and good to go. go. Calling online. Acknowledged HQ. Your forces are under attack. Standing by. Go ahead, Captain. 
Sequence initiated. Good work, Captain. I want the side disruptor kept on full power around the clock. I'll leave a garrison here to protect it as well. Prepare the fleet to move out. We are going to the planet Char to claim that cursed overmind. And may heaven help your realm for what he has done this day. With the Psy Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I'd venture against that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. I read you. Yes, sir? Stand on the attack. Sir, these sunken colonies aren't being affected by anything we hit them with. I'll bet there's one of those cerebrate critters pumping up full of energy nearby. Orders, Captain? That's the engine to go, sir. Right away, sir. Give me something to Got shoot. Finished. Outstanding. Rock and roll. Did someone page me? SCP, good to go. 
Input coordinates. Strap yourselves in, boys. Hang on, we're in for some chop. In transit, HQ. Strap yourselves in, boys. I copy that. Your forces are under attack. In transit, HQ. Give me some of this shit. I'm listening. In the five, 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 five. Nuclear missile. Strap ready. yourselves in, boys. I read you. Captain Red. Destination. Strap yourselves in, boys. Input coordinates. Destination. Nuclear I read you. Ready. I'm listening. Buckle up. Base is under attack. Finally. I'm here. Call the shot. I'm all over it. Base is under attack. Nuclear launch detection detected. Destination. In transit, HQ. Base is under attack. Ghost reporting. I'm gone. Destination. I got you now. Buckle up. Strap yourself in, boys. Hang on, we're in for some chop. In the five, 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 five. Did someone cage me? We breached the perimeter of the Overmind's nest. Your forces are under attack. We can launch the med team at any time, sir. Captain, the medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the Overmind. Your forces are under attack. Uh, excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. You ran, you son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral de Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, what the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination. Seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent Overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. 
Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while Directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate Psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind.